Just moments ago, OpenAI held its spring update event talking about ChatGPT, its new model, and a bunch of other updates. In this video, I'm going to be explaining why this is actually very important for the future of AI, specifically enterprise AI, and what it means for Palantir. So here are some tweets from Sam Altman. I'm going to sort of skip past the consumer you know, updates like their new app that I think is going to be helpful on the desktop, they refresh the UI a bit, but much more importantly, they've introduced a new model that seems very impressive. So it's not GPT-5. No one was really expecting that just yet, but I think this is something that's potentially just as transformational. So it's their best model ever, as I would expect. Sam Altman says it's smart, fast, and is natively multimodal. Now, this is something that I think is super important for AIP. Let's get into it. So it's gonna be, it looks like they're standardizing it from the consumer standpoint. So all ChatGPT users are gonna get this. Paying for ChatGPT Plus means you just get more access to it. So that's the difference there. And it's going to be available starting today for API access. And that's what I'm gonna be talking about in a moment. So very good model, as I would expect, especially good at coding. Here are some of the results, which is great to see. And this is really the important part here. So in the API, which as you'll recall, Palantir's AIP platform and product is agnostic to the LLM that is being used. I don't know why I just said it like that. The LLM that is being used. So. Palantir works with Claude, works with Bard, whatever, Gemini, whatever you want to throw at it, right? Including ChatGPT. And, of course, this new model that OpenAI has just released. So, the big deal here is it's two times faster, it's 50% cheaper, and it has five times higher rate limits compared to GPT-4 Turbo. Those are big improvements. And what does that mean? Well, it's reducing the cost to operate. It's making it much faster, which means you're able to interact with the information in a much more natural way. And you're able to utilize it much more. So it basically levels up Palantir's ability to use AIP through OpenAI and brings it to the next level. But we still haven't gotten to the most impressive part, which is the fact that they're essentially going multimodal with vision, audio, and the actual model itself in terms of the reasoning and the language. So when you usually use ChatGPT, you're just texting to it, right? And they did introduce this audio capability a while back, but it wasn't very good because you couldn't interrupt it. You couldn't show it things. But now there's this very interesting dynamic where you can bring the model vision and still interact with it with from an audio standpoint at the same time. So think about Palantir's mixed reality offerings. This is really going to transform the enterprise. I could not be more excited. It's the type of model that's going to be powering Palantir in the future. So here you can see in the demo, he has shown this equation and he's talking to the model at the same time. So the model is taking two inputs. It's taking the audio input and the, the visual input at the same time. It's responding in in, you know, I would say that the audio, you know, the model to speech is, is, in my opinion, less impressive because we've had that for a long time. But seeing this multimodal sort of come together has really opened my mind, not only to the improvements of chat GPT 4.0 in terms of the cost reductions, which helps Palantir's margins if you take it to a large scale, as well as the speed, which improves Palantir's ability for AIP to, to work super fast. And if you take this to mixed reality, what can an LLM do for the enterprise in that capacity? This really just impressed me, blew me away with what OpenAI is able to come up with and, of course, what Palantir is going to be able to do with this software. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Until next time.